What's up everybody, it's Ines here and welcome to another episode. Over the next few weeks we'll be touring some exquisite properties here in Marbella, Spain and this one right behind me is the first one. Now situated on this amazing ridge, house gets phenomenal views of the Mediterranean Sea, gorgeous interiors and lower level has some incredible amenities that we're going to see later in the tour. Now this property is exclusively listed with Solvilla with an asking price of 27.5 million euros, which is a little over 31 million dollars. And as always, you can find more information about this listing in the description of this video. Lastly, before we start our tour, I want to thank Stacy Welch and Solvilla family for flying us out here, allowing us to tour their exclusive listings here in Marbella, Spain, and share it with all of you. And now let's start our tour with this one. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior. Beautiful property, long driveway brings you to the entry. I love this cobblestone finish that they have, which gives you that warmth and character. And halfway through the driveway, it actually splits and takes you to your lower level garage, which we'll check out later in the tour. Now coming back here, property is nicely hedged. We have the La Concha Mountain on the back. I love the palm trees, the vibes, the energy here. On our left hand side and off of the entry, we have these water features setting the mood as you walk into the home. And if you can afford to buy a home like this, most most likely you're gonna have some really nice cars and that's why we brought this Rolls Royce we have a Ferrari here and down below we got a really nice Mercedes SUV to bring some life and color to this estate now turning back and focusing to the house again we have this covered entry with travertine columns cobblestone driveway extends all the way to the entry stucco finish on the exterior and lastly Mikey let's get a close-up we have this massive pivot door that welcomes you into the estate I mean look at the size of this store. Pretty incredible. This is pretty incredible, right? Right above us, we have a massive picture window. And Mikey, why don't you come inside? As soon as you walk in, you see the amazing views of the Mediterranean Sea. And this entry is so grand and elegant. We have the staircases on each side, going up to the second floor, as well as the lower level, double height ceilings with the vaulted beam details, chandelier right in the center, massive picture windows bring a ton of natural light. And like I mentioned earlier, the moment you walk into this estate, you see these breathtaking views. Now, before we continue our tour, I want to give a little information about this estate. So it has 2,400 square meter built up area. It's built on a 4,500 square meter lot, nine bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, and as I mentioned earlier, listed for 27.5 million euros. Now, off of the entry, we have this massive opening with pocket doors, taking us to the grand seating area. Two L-shaped couches and these two coffee tables are perfectly symmetrical, all facing these amazing views. Room is extremely spacious. We have cold lighting on the ceiling with the circular chandelier right in the center. I love this massive carpet that they have custom built for this room. And look at these views, Mikey. I mean, this room is amazing. You have this massive picture window right in the center two glass pivot doors on each side, taking you to the terrace on this main floor. I just love the textures here with the wallpaper, dark millwork, and everything about this room is extremely exquisite, elegant, beautiful grand space off of your entry. Now, right next door, we have a little bit smaller, more intimate seating area, U-shaped couch facing the TV, stone clad wall with brass details, fireplace below with some open shelving, and this room has sliding glass doors opening up to the terrace on the main floor. Now I want to take everybody back to the entry because we're going to check out the left wing of this house where we have few guest suites, staircase going down to the lower level. We have this hallway taking us to a really nice powder room for the main floor and we have this opening taking us to the first guest suite. Now one of the most impressive things about this estate is the fact that each one of these nine bedrooms are 
extremely spacious. When I say extremely spacious, I mean, this is one of the smaller guest suites and it could easily qualify as a $50 million primary bedroom in a home in Beverly Hills. You have the king size bed on this side with a padded wall, oversized limestone tiles on the floors, seating area, two doors opening up to a balcony that is facing the side of the home, your TV, another seating area, it's just amazing. And we have this door opening up to a walk-in closet with a small coffee bar. And lastly, of course, this bedroom suite has its own bathroom. It starts right here, freestanding tub right in the center with this chrome tub filler, another massive picture window facing the front of the home, beautiful vanity with two vessel sinks, stacked stone on the back that goes all the way up to the ceiling and around the corner we got a gorgeous walk-in shower with a rain head above now right next to this bedroom we have another guest suite on this level it starts right here off of the entry we have a small closet and a coffee bar and as you walk in you're welcomed into this spacious bedroom another padded back wall with a king size bed gorgeous chandelier above with the cold lighting detail. Your TV is positioned on this side and around the corner, we have the bathroom. Floating vanity design right in the center with this vessel sink, chrome fixtures, patterned stone back wall. And on this side, we have the freestanding tub with another picture window facing the side of the home. You have your privacy shade above and around the corner, of course, you have your glass walk-in shower with the rain head. Gorgeous bathroom for this room. Now I wanna take everybody outside. We have two sliding glass doors taking us to the covered patio space, which is just awesome. Yeah, before we continue, I wanna ask you, like these bedrooms are absolutely massive. We've toured a lot of homes on this channel and we've never seen guest suites this size. Is there any reason for that? There's actually a really good reason for that. My name's Stacy. I'm the sales director from Sol Villa. Mikey, you asked why the bedrooms are so big. Reason being, we want our guests to feel like they're in a five-star luxury hotel. Mini bars, coffee machines, access to their private beautiful terraces. They don't need to use the rest of the quarters when they wake up in the morning. That's amazing. And these guest suites are some of the biggest we've ever seen on this channel. You can just close your door, hang out there, have your own private outdoor terraces. And speaking of terraces, this is one of the outdoor seating areas within this home. There are many. Tell us what we're looking at here, Stacey. So you have loads of oversized furniture, two big, huge coffee tables. You have a mini putting green over there and some Moroccan chandeliers. And I just love, again, some of the warmth that we're seeing throughout the house. Travertine floors, wood clad ceilings. You have an outdoor TV here. And Stacey, let's take everybody this way. Obviously this terrace continues. Um, I wanna talk about Marbella for a second. Marbella has gone really popular over the last few years. I hear the name all the time. I see these beautiful homes kind of being built. Tell us why Marbella got so popular over the last few years. I would say, first of all, the weather. We have the best weather in Southern Europe for sure. The microclimate from La Concha Mountain creates better weather here than anywhere north of the mountain. We have fantastic schools, great healthcare, good infrastructure, and great connections to the Malaga Airport. Amazing. And you have incredible views, so that certainly helps the overall pitch of Marbella. Now, when we came out here about a couple days ago, you, sh you kind of showed us this property. We at least previewed it a little bit. You mentioned that this area or this ridge is becoming really, really important to Marbella. And let's just say a lot of nice homes are being built around here. And you called it the Billionaire's Ridge. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So yeah, I pretty much came up with the name. And I think the reason being, you're gonna have a combination of homes here priced from 10 to 40 million euros being completed over the next three to four years. And Olympus is the first of its kind. And that's why we have all these cranes behind us, development going up. And luckily it's super quiet out here. It's been a really, really peaceful day. And Stacey, we're also in a gated community here, right? Absolutely. This is the only gated community in Marbella that has canine dog security. That's pretty amazing. All right, Stacey, tell us what we're looking at here. I'm assuming that's our formal living room area or the grand seating area off of the entry. And this is the outdoor space that complements that. Absolutely. You have one formal area with this huge, big fixed piece of glass with entrance and access for both sides of the doors. I open to this huge covered terrace area with your electric awnings opening and closing here. Great, great. Let's continue our tour. So I'm assuming outdoor terrace, of course, continues. Um, Stacey, what is your favorite thing about this house or the detail that makes you really appreciate it? I would say, even though this is a huge super mansion, it's the warmth and homely feel. Soft materials, lots of wood, natural stone, lots of texture. It really feels like a home. Amazing. And right here, we have more outdoor seating areas. So you have two bars. 
ice machine with a bar and fridge and a cocktail bar with your piano, and two seating areas, one in and one out, and also two dining areas. And come in here, you have your first outdoor dining room. Gorgeous chandelier right in the center, seating for 12, more views, glass railing throughout. I love the travertine on the floors. And to kind of dress up the space, they have these curtains on each side in case you want some privacy and shade in this area. Now, following here, we have more outdoor lounging chairs, staircase taking us to the lower level where we have your pool area, which is just stunning. We're gonna check that out later in the tour. And lastly, as if the first dining area wasn't enough, you have another one over here with your barbecue, wet bar, all that good stuff. Now lastly, another sliding glass doors open up and takes you to your formal dining room area. Another gorgeous table set up that sits 12 people. And can we take a look at the scene here? I mean, the cutlery, the glasses, the brass details on the table, chandeliers above, these chairs, everything about this space, including the custom cut carpet for the room looks so exquisite. Mikey, can we get a close up on these chairs? They're solid wood with the brass leg on the bottom. I mean, the upholstery on these chairs, everything. Gorgeous, gorgeous dining room area. And right next door, we have a cocktail bar kind of complementing this entertainment wing, let's just call it. And you have your bar seating, of course, pendant lights above, open shelving with the mirror backsplash, your sink, fridges, your overall bar setup is here. And just like the rest of the home, you have sliding glass doors opening up on each side, taking you to the outdoors. And to give everybody a little bit of reference, this opening right here takes you to your grand seating area, living room. And that way, this whole wing is super connected to each other. Now, before we go to the kitchen, there's one more thing I wanna mention. All the furniture in this house comes with the sale of the home. So anything you see, you get it once you purchase the property. Now, this opening takes us to the kitchen wing. Right in the center, we have a nice informal dining room area with a chandelier above. And behind that, you have your gorgeous modern kitchen. Massive island right in the center with deck ton countertops. I love the texture on these countertops. You have your wood tones on the island, more of the gloss, darker finish on the wall cabinets. And Mikey, let's get a close up here. You have few induction cooktops, your griddle, your gas cooktop, ton of ace cabinets here. Of course, your dishwasher is located here. Fabricated sink with a dish rack. This is always a nice detail, especially when they can fabricate and create a massive sink like this. Looks gorgeous. And Mikey, I need to take you towards this side. Uh, before we started shooting, I was just checking out some of the cabinets. I love this one. The whole cabinet comes out. It's such a nice detail, easy to access. You know? We've seen this before in LA. I can't remember where though. Laurel Way, Beverly Hills. Laurel Way, yeah, that's right. Uh, nice touch and let's focus back on the wall cabinets again. You have all these storage areas, your built-ins, your oven right in the center, microwave, all that good stuff. And of course, wine fridge and your full-size Gaggano fridge and freezer. There you go, everything you need. Now, that's not it for the kitchen because we have this opening taking us to the chef's kitchen, ton of cabinetry and storage areas. We have a fabricated sink here, induction cooktop, vent above, but more importantly, you have a door at the end of this hallway, which opens up to the front of the home. That way your chef, your catering company can pull up to the house, go straight into your chef's kitchen and start cooking here. Amazing space, complements the main kitchen, and that wraps our tour on the main floor. Now I wanna go back to the staircase so we can check out the lower level. Now we're on the lower floor landing, nice and spacious. Two staircases come down from the main floor, seating area in the center, mood lighting above us. And on this floor, we have few guest suites, but more importantly, we have some of the luxurious amenities located on this level. And speaking of amenities, right in front of us, we have this door opening up to the indoor pool. Stacy, we travel around the world, we tour some amazing properties, and I feel like the lower level of this home, but the indoor pool, amenities, spa, is just kind of mind boggling. Tell us what we're looking at here. Absolutely, this is true luxury. Huge indoor pool, gym, cinema, home office, wine bodega, sauna, steam room, all the facilities of a five-star hotel, independently located, so all the guests can use the facilities independently. And like you mentioned on the upper level, 
the common areas in this house is designed so oversized that way if you have guests over you have your friends over everybody can enjoy it's not just that you're trying to have an indoor pool it's more so like you want to have the whole grand experience absolutely the uh, the idea is really to have the same resemblance of a luxury hotel. Amazing, now we're also on the lower level and this house is built on a hillside which comes with its own challenges. But I love that you have walls of glass on the lower level which kind of makes it feel really light and bright and airy. Because of the topography of the land, it's allowed us to put glass on all three levels and all of the levels have sea views. And again, I wanna say that this is really the last super mansion in the Marbella postcode, something this large, this luxurious and this new. This is a heated saltwater pool, and I mean, look at the scale here. This is a full-size pool. It's not one of those little residential pools. You have your cold lighting details above to kind of warm up the space. All these glass panels look to your gym on the right. On the front, it looks towards your lower level grounds. And on the left, you have your additional spa amenities. This is just a phenomenal space, and I mean, Again, this house literally feels like a resort within your home. It's just amazing. Lounging chairs, I wanna keep talking, but we gotta move forward. These wood clad walls, amazing. Now going through this opening, we have two showers on our right. I say two because you have two rain heads and two handhelds, all open space. You have your sauna on this side, your steam shower, take a look. Your steam room, not your shower, my bad. Again, mosaic throughout, LED lighting, all within your home and of course you have a full-size bathroom here with this long vanity two sinks texture stone back wall your water closet and to make the space feel a little bit more open they have a nice frosted glass here uh, let me ask you real quick we see this in a lot of homes i've always been curious why are steam rooms always in dark marble or dark tile? Why is it never light tile? I don't know if I have the right answer for you, but I have a feeling people tend to like darker finishes or darker tiles in steam rooms because it has more of a soothing and relaxing feel. Maybe that's why. Well, I gotta ask you the hard questions and keep you on your toes. Absolutely, but if anybody watching knows the answer of it, let us know in the comment section below. Please do. And uh, actually, I wanna talk about another detail here before we leave this section. I love that steam room wall is actually glass enclosed, in fact, even the sauna has a glass wall, which is really nice. A lot of times these saunas are a little bit closed off and they feel a little dark. It's nice to have a glass wall. It kind of allows you to enjoy the space a little bit more. Yeah. Now we're gonna take an interesting route. We have this door opening up to the utility hallway. I say utility hallway because we have a couple utility rooms here. I have to show this room to everyone because this is one of the most organized and well Put together utility rooms I've ever seen on our channel. I mean, I love that each one of these lines are perfectly insulated, valves, everything. Look how clean it is. They have a built in drain here in case of an emergency. This is just amazing. Yeah, so we were actually walking through this space with the listing agent, Stacy, yesterday, and he told us that the company that makes these actually has sensors in the drains. So if there's any leaking water, these machines will ping the company and let them know that something is leaking. They'll send out a technician so they fix it immediately and you don't have to worry about it. We, we don't see this in these $100, $200 million homes in Beverly Hills that I've, that I've heard of, yeah. At least we're not aware of it, but it's nice to have. Room is so dialed in. I love clean, organized utility rooms. So I had to show that to you guys. All right, Michael, let's continue our tour. This door opens up to your commercial laundry room. I say commercial laundry room because it has a ton of cabinetry, countertop space, multiple washers and dryers, and you can also access this room from the outside patio. Now, following the hallway, we have this door opening up to staff quarters, and calling this area staff quarters doesn't do the justice because it's basically a full-size apartment here. You have a dining area, great kitchen with dishwasher, built-ins, induction cooktop, Spacious seating area with an L-shaped couch, window above bringing natural light. And again, this living room is part of the staff quarters, which is just amazing. And we have this door opening up to a hallway where on our right-hand side, we have a great size bedroom with a queen size bed, ceiling mount light fixtures. And we have this glass door opening up to the side of the property. That way staff can come directly to their room without having to go through the house built-in closets, and we have this opening, taking us to the full-size bathroom with a walk-in shower, gorgeous vanity, dual sinks. I mean, the staff quarters, bedrooms are even gorgeous. And around the corner, we have the second 
bedroom here again with a full-size bathroom everything you need now let's take everybody back to the hallway we have this door opening up and bringing us to landing on the lower level powder room here located on the other side and we have this door taking us to the screening room we're used to seeing movie theaters or screening rooms within these mega estates but every now and then we see a screening room like this one where it just feels very very cozy i think it has a lot to do with this carpet on the floors oversized couches and in fact i want to get a close-up right here mikey they even have pop-up plugs within your couches and just furnishings the padded walls with the brass light fixtures co-lighting details your screen here everything about it is very dialed in I feel like every surface is clad with some sort of a material and it just feels like a nice cozy screening room. Now let's bring everybody back to the landing. So we just finished touring the left wing. Now we're going to check out the right wing and it starts right here. On our right hand side we have the elevator landing on this floor and right across we have this glass enclosed room which takes you to your wine cellar. I love some of the finishes here with the darker tone cabinetry, two wine fridges, open shelving with the stainless steel racks, wood clad ceiling, stone back wall that goes all around the room. And more importantly, I know this is going to be a weird comment, but the way this room smells, it feels like I walked into a brand new Rolls Royce or some sort of an exquisite car with the carpet varnish and wood details. It's not that weird. I know how much you want a Rolls Royce, so. I, I feel like I'm kind of like implementing that into our videos, like episode after episode. You're like, Rolls Royce, give me a call. Give me a call, let us know. But uh, also one more detail. The wine in this room is worth 180,000 euros and it comes with the sale of the home. Isn't that amazing? 180,000 euros. That's right. It's a lot. There you go, amazing wine cellar. Now, right across, we have another hallway that takes us to two spacious guest suites on this level. Each one of these bedrooms has their own bathrooms. And off of the entry here, we have this hallway with a coffee bar around the corner, good size bedrooms. Now, coming back to the main hallway, we have the doors opening up to the lower level garage. And we have this door taking us to a hallway, which then leads us to the office. Built-in desk set up with some storage on the back, Desk is perfectly positioned for you to sit down, work, and enjoy these views. You get a nice seating area in front of the desk setup, sliding glass doors opening up to the outdoors. But more importantly, we have this door opening up to the room next door, which is your gym. And this is not like your everyday residential home gym. Look at the scale here. This is a massive room with multiple gym equipment. So you have your TV on this side, mirror wall, co ceiling light detail, and on our left, that's your indoor pool right there. You have that entire space flowing from one room to another. And Mikey, let's take everybody outside. Let's do it. We have an additional sliding glass door here. And now we're on the lower level grounds. We got a couple lounging chairs here. Views are great. It's so peaceful and quiet up here. This is just amazing. And uh, that's your office. We have a couple sun beds here. And going around, this is the staircase that brings you from the main level down to the lower level. And right in front of us, we have the amazing pool area. This looks so inviting and tranquil. But before we get here, I actually want to take everybody this way. We have this gate opening up to the lower level garage entry. You can park up to three cars here. Unfortunately, garage and the lower garage is not finished yet. So we cannot show it to you guys. We have the Mercedes right there awesome space and if you want to throw parties or invite people straight to your backyard or pool area you can easily do that through the gate right there now i want to cover this section it's awesome we have the hot tub here clad with the same mosaic tile that we saw in the indoor pool grass section here and before we move towards the pool area i want to mention something down below us we have the lower level which is currently under construction and they are building an incredible car gallery there with a cocktail bar dj booth and a lounge area that space is going to be phenomenal it is literally down below us in fact if you look at the house from the outside you can see these linear windows underneath the patio space which brings natural light to that section that space is phenomenal it will be finished in the next few months and i'm sure it will look amazing once it's all done now coming here we have the main pool again clad with mosaic we have two pergolas multiple outdoor seating areas lounging chairs 
it's just an extension of your property and if you look at the house as a whole it has a very elongated design so i wanted to mention that now coming here between the hot tub and the pool we have a nice outdoor seating area your outdoor bar i just love this glazed tile that they have here with the lighter tones and the greens it has a nice contrast nice pattern to it your bar seating again more outdoor seating and behind this bar setup we also have a half bathroom for the pool overall amazing backyard incredible views we're really impressed with this property and that wraps our tour on the lower level now let's go back inside go to the second floor so we can check out the bedrooms Here we are on the second floor landing. I wanted to bring everybody here because this overlook area where you can see these double height ceilings, get close to the chandeliers. This is just amazing. And on this floor, we have three spacious bedroom suites, including the primary bedroom that we're gonna check out in a bit. First, I wanna start our tour with this bedroom. Just like the ones on the main floor or the lower level, it's very, very spacious. Another padded back wall, king size bed, two French doors opening up to a balcony facing the side of the property and you have your TV and desk set up on this side hallway closet here and of course it comes with a full bathroom freestanding tub vanity with two vessel sinks walk-in shower everything you need now coming back to the hallway again right across we have another bedroom let's quickly take a look at that and just like we talked about it earlier each one of these bedroom suites are basically like hotel rooms and this is your junior primary bedroom suite another king size bed another padded back wall wallpaper throughout another cove lighting detail above and these bedrooms i cannot get over the sizes i mean it's insane and you have sliding glass doors opening up to a private balcony for this bedroom where you have these just breathtaking amazing views now coming here you have your hallway closet another desk setup with your coffee bar espresso maker i can't get over it i love these i feel like i love drinking coffee so anywhere i can put an espresso maker i would do that so we have one in our work van for those that don't know absolutely any shoot we go we bring our espresso maker so that's a little information for you guys that's right all right gorgeous bathroom another long floating vanity two vessel sinks i really like this textured stone that they've been using in the bathrooms throughout massive walk-in shower with your chrome rain head and held freestanding tub just gorgeous amazing bathroom and this is your junior primary bedroom suite now let's take everybody back to the landing i know we have a long walkway there mikey but before we go also how cool is this i really like this they have this like leather wrapped finish on top of the dresser here looks gorgeous yeah absolutely just the scale of this house i mean look at this entry here with these massive picture windows by the way at the end of the hallway we have the elevator access and we also have these uh, glass doors opening up to a massive patio space that we're going to check out in a bit now going through this opening we go straight into the primary bedroom closet it looks like a boutique store here with the glass fronts, LED lighting, metal finishes, details, carpet on the floor, chandelier in the center with the island. Everything about it is super exquisite. It's custom built for this house. And right across, you have the extension of your closet space here with your shoe racks, your safe, more hanger space, and another coffee bar. By the way, every single one of these coffee bars also has a mini fridge so i want to point it out i know it looks like a drawer setup it's not that's a half size door gorgeous nice to have absolutely this opening primary bathroom we have a nice fabricated stone vanity with two sinks wall fixtures cabinetry down below and i really like this stone finished back wall here with the textures led lit mirror and right next to that you have your wall mount toilet just gorgeous natural stone finishes Let's quickly check out the walk-in shower, which starts right here. In the bathrooms, they went with brushed nickel finishes instead of chrome to kind of give some differentiation to the primary bedroom bathroom. Of course, right on the corner, you have this gorgeous freestanding tub with your tub pillar, amazing views, opens up to that balcony space on this level that we're gonna check out in a bit. Now, let's bring everybody back to the primary bedroom entry. This opening, takes us to the primary bedroom. We have a nice partition wall here separating the entry or the hallway from the bed setup and your king size bed is positioned 
right in the center of the room. And I really like that they use the same material on the bed and the padded back wall. So there's a nice uniformity here. Mike, I don't know if your angle or you can see it right now, right behind the bed setup, we have this loft space, which is basically your private library or a little lounge area for the primary bedroom suite. It's super cool. You go up there through this ladder. And I just love that they made a good use off of that space. And if you look above that, which is the ceiling design, off of the entry, we saw the vaulted ceilings with the beams. That same ceiling actually continues all the way to the primary bedroom. And that's why in this room and off of the entry, we have the same finishes, nicely uniformed. Of course, right on this side, we have massive picture windows facing the amazing views. We have two glass pivot doors opening up to a private balcony for the primary bedroom where you can sit down, relax, just soak in these breathtaking views. I mean, it's gorgeous high here. Now, let's bring everybody here. That's the loft space entry, your bed set up, and we have this door opening up to the side terrace that we have on this level. This space is gorgeous. I say gorgeous because, Mikey, let's point this way. You have two outdoor showers here which is just awesome where you can just enjoy these views. Right across, we have this elevated decking where you have your travertine soaking tub because when you live in a place like Marbella where you have great weather year round, you can just soak in, relax, enjoy these peaceful views around us. And your outdoor balcony on this level continues. We have a couple of seating areas here. That's off of the hallway or landing on the second floor. And that's your primary bathroom right there. That way you can just access to this amazing private balcony. Before we end this tour, I want to bring Stacy here one more time. Stacy, thank you so much for having us here in Marbella. Our trip has been so much fun so far. And I know we got really exciting episodes coming up as well. My pleasure. Thank you for coming again. We've got exciting new projects to see over the next few days. Awesome. Also, we're really big on showing the properties at night to our viewers. So if you don't mind, we want to spend a couple hours here, wait for the sun to go down so we can see this place at dusk. Absolutely. Make yourself at home. All right, everyone, that's it for our first home tour here in Marbella. I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. Lastly, I wanna give big thanks to Stacy and the Sovilla team for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.